Let's have some fun. In this video, I want to share with you the most critical way to stop bee and wasp stings, as this is a question that I am most asked. Which beekeeping suit should I wear so that I don't get stung? Well, the answer to this question is less about the suit and more about the bee and the wasp. And here's a question that was recently asked by Mr. W. I need something for yellow jackets and red paper wasps. What do you recommend? I'm going to be in the attic where there are football size nests. With nowhere to run, I need the best sting protection available, Mr. W. Well, in this example, red paper wasps are less aggressive than yellow jackets. So it's going to be the yellow jackets that are going to attack you the most. However, because you are going to be removing the nests, you can be sure they're all going to have a good go at you. So if it's not the suit, then what is important and what should you do? Well, firstly, it is the length of the bees and the wasp stinger that is the most important concern. For example, the Texas red paper wasp stinger length is 3.8 millimeters. The yellow jacket wasp has a stinger of 3.2 millimeters, while the European hornet has a massive 5.4 millimeter length stinger. While the Western honeybee, the stinger length is a mere 2.9 millimeters. In this case, unlike in beekeeping, you're going to be in a confined space with nowhere to escape. So you're going to need to cover your entire body. So to remain safe and sting free, you need to make sure that the clothing you wear is thicker than the insect stinger. And in this case, it's going to be four millimeters. But also you do not want to overheat, so wearing a neoprene diving suit is not going to help. As you could suffer from heat stroke if worn for a prolonged period of time. So what should you do and what should you wear? Well, you really have two main choices. Firstly, a good three layer ventilated suit should create a five mil gap between all the layers, making you safe and protected from the paper wasps and the yellow jackets. Also, if you wear an additional layer of underclothing, you will also be protected from the European Hornet. Plus, because these suits are made of a mesh, air will be able to flow over your body, preventing you from overheating even when wearing that extra layer of clothing. Now, if you're gonna be removing wasps or keeping bees on a regular basis, this is the best choice. However, if wasp nest removal and beekeeping is gonna be infrequent, then most good cotton and poly cotton suits will work well. But you will need to wear two long sleeve tops and a good pair of jeans to ensure you create that four millimeter gap. Now, as attic space is normally confined, I would recommend wearing the fencing veil so that you can move around the attic space more easily. But if you're overly concerned about protecting your head, you can always wear a baseball cap under this type of veil. So if you've learned something in this video and you'd like to learn more, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any more of my videos. And I will see you in the next video.